Hi, welcome you all to Pebbles. In today's class, we are going to see converting fraction to decimals. So, this is also the topic of decimals. It's a part of a decimal. First heading is converting fraction to decimal. Look at the sum. Now, we are going to start the class. Okay, a is equal to 3 by 10. So, this is a fraction. So, you are going to convert as a decimal. So, you know that the only so look at this, this is 3 is a numerator, 3 by 10 is a fraction, 3 is a numerator and 10 is a denominator. So how many zeros in 10? Only one zero. So you have to move only one point, okay? Move only one point, that means what you are going to do? 3, then after that point, after that zero. The answer is 0 0.3, this is a decimal. Next one is 24 by 100. This is a numerator and this is the denominator. Look at this how many zeros in denominator? Two zeros. So you have to move two points. So 4, 2. This is 1 and 2. So its point is coming here. So 2, 4, point. Now after that you have to put 0. The decimal means you have to put 0. Then you have to put a point. This is a decimal point and 2, 4. This is the right answer for the question. Okay. Is expressed as a decimal. So I'll repeat once again converting fraction into decimals 3 by 10, 3 is a numerator and 10 is a denominator. So you have to convert as a decimal. So how many zeros in 10? Only one zero. So you have to move only one point to the left side direction. So 3 you have to write. So after 3 you have to put a point. So okay. So put a point, then you have to add 0. In front of the point, you have to put 0. This is the rule of decimals. So 0 0.3 is the right answer for this question. Otherwise, you can do one thing, 3 by 10. So 3 you can't divide. So what you're going to do, you have to uh, put a 0. Then you have to put a point. Then after that, you have to add 0 here. So 3 tens are 10. So 30 minus 30, you can get 0. This is also one type of method. Okay. But this is a very easy method 25 by 100 you know that 24 is a numerator 100 is a denominator in 100 you have two zeros that means you have to move two points that is what i've written so two that is four two this is one and, and the another this one digit and this another digit this means that is 24 so one digit and another digit two digits you have to move two digit to the left left side direction so 24 one digit this is you actually 1, 1 and 2. So 24, 2 digits here. So you have to move 1 and again 2. So you have to put the point here, 2 digits. So after 2, this, sorry, before the 2 digit you have to put a point. Then you have to put 0. So that the answer is 0 0.24. So right answer. So 0 0.24, this is tens and this is hundreds. Tens and hundreds. This is 3 tens. This is 2 tens and 4 hundreds. So answer is that is 24 by 100 means you have to move uh, in the denominator 2 zeros. That is what you have to move 2 digits to the left side direction. So I have moved 2 digits 1, 2 digits. So after the sorry before the 2 digit I have to put a point then I have to add 0. So answer is 0 0.24. See express as a decimal. Now express a decimal is the same type. So, I have told you the answer is, what is this? Only 8 by 10, 8 is a numerator and 10 is a denominator. So, you have to move only one point. So, 8, after that you have to put a point. So, here the point is coming here. So, point, I have writ written the point and after that, sorry, before the point you have to add 0. The answer is 0 0.8, the right answer. See, 8 is a numerator and 10 is a denominator. So, in the 10, how many zeros? Only one zero. So you have to move only one point. So 8 you have to write and after that you have to put a point. So you have to move only one digit to the left side direction. So 8 I have written and after that you ha I have written what? Point then I have written 0. The answer is 0 0.8. Here see uh, 72 by 100. How many zeros in the denominator? 72 is a numerator. 100 is a denominator. In 100 how many zeros? Two zeros. So you have to move two digits. Then I have to put a point. Then after that, so before that, before the point, I have to put 0. The answer is 0 0.72. So here, so 1,172. 1,172 is a numerator divided by 100. In 100, how many zeros? Two zeros. That means I have to move two digits. So 1, 2. So what is this? 2, 7. Uh, before that, I have to put a point. 
so first digit and second digit then i have to put a point because i have to move two points to the left okay so that means the point is coming here so two and seven before the two point i have to put a i have to put a point then this point is a decimal point i have to write one and one the answer is 11.72 this is the right answer for the question the next is converting decimals to fractions so 17 tenths that means how we are going to write 17 tenths mean so tens so that means 70 divided by 10 this is the right answer for this question so if you want decimal means you have to write so 17 divided by 10 the answer is 1.7 you know that but they have given very clearly converting decimals into fraction so 17 tens that means what you're going to do first you have to write in decimal after that you have to write in fraction so already the question is in the what decimal post decimal uh, form the question is in the decimal form 17 tens that means the question is given in decimal form so 17 tens the fraction is 17 by 10 next 12 hundreds 12 hundreds this is what we are going to say this is a decimal form this is a written form decimal form but actually it is a written form so what even 12 by 100 you have to write this is the exact answer for this question but the decimal form means nothing but so this is what 17 tens sorry decimal form for this question is this is a decimal form the 17 tens mean the answer is 1.7 this is the right answer for the decimal form but we don't want decimal form we need only the fraction form so 17 tens that means this is a written form of decimal this is also a written form of decimal so we have to convert this decimal form into fraction so 17 by 10 is the right answer 12 hundreds 12 by 100 is the right answer for this question next express as a fraction so 0 0.4 it is in a decimal form actually they are not giving in the written form so the answer is 4 by 10 because 0 0.4 after the point we call it as 4 tenths that is what that is what you have written 4 by 10 0 0.06 so 0 0.06 means after the point how many digit 2 digits that is what you have written 6 by 100 so 0 0.06 0 0.06 up 0 tens and what is this 6 hundreds that is what 6 by 100 and 1.31 after the point how many digit 2 digit that is what you have written so 131 divided by 100 you can write the denominator is what how many denominator what is the number 100 so how many zeros in 100 two zeros so you have to move from the right side from the right side you have to move two points that means you have to move uh, from the right side you have to move that means the point is coming in the left side so one digit two digits so it comes here only the point is coming the answer is 1.31 this is what so from right to left you have to move so 131 divided by 100 is the right answer for this question okay that's all and uh, what all the decimal uh, chapters over now we are going to move on to the next chapter